Are you struggling with your class 2 composite fillings? Do you often get failures with them? If yes, this Tipsy Tuesday will change that forever. Friends, this TST episode is titled Decoupling with Time. Let's de-stress the bond. Talking about a class 2, I've created an illustration for you to understand. We will be watching the rest of the slides from this perspective as if you're sitting in the class 2 cavity box. So imagine this is your class 2 area. The first step in composite respiration is always the application of the bond, which is what you see here in orange color. Quick recommendations. Remember when you are applying your bonding agent, make sure to scrub it over that area for 20 seconds. Kanju si nahi, 20 seconds scrub karo. Then take air from your three-way syringe and air blow till the rippling completely stops. Once you have done that, please go ahead and now light cure. The moment you do this, you have created a hybrid layer. Remember, this hybrid layer is not completely mature. All right, now, what typically we do is we go ahead and take the next layer of composite. This is our first base layer. We go ahead and adapt it onto the chamber of your cavitation and then we go ahead and light cure it. Remember, the moment you light activate your composite, a photopolymerization reaction has initiated. Basically, monomer is being converted into polymer and this is always associated with polymerization shrinkage. Now, unlike what was earlier thought that shrinkage was always towards the light source, that is no longer the case. There is ample science which says shrinkage is always towards the center of mass. Now, remember, when you have a large lump of composite that is shrinking, it is exerting immense amount of stress on the bond that is currently present to the dentin. And if you remember, I just told you, the dentin bond is not mature, which is the reason why often immediately after light curing the first increment of composite, your bond from the base or the pulpal floor actually is immediately broken. Have you ever come across a situation that you've done a class 2 composite, you've taken an x-ray and right at the margin you see a black line? That black line is actually telling us the bond in that area has failed, you are sure to eventually get issues with that class to composite. Now the question arises, why does this bond fail? And this is because of what is called as hierarchy of bondability. It basically says the bond does not mature equally to dentin as it does to enamel. As a matter of fact, it does not even mature to dentin from the coronal to the cervical aspect. This is because dentin of a tooth, from the top of the tooth to the apex of the tooth, is not the same in chemistry. Also, the dentinal tubule size and number are not the same, which is why it is often said that the best bond that you get is always to enamel because everything's inorganic, your bond is extremely predictable. But when you're talking about dentin, the bond is stronger to coronal dentin as compared to middle dentin, even weaker is the cervical dentin and the weakest is the radicular dentin, which is the reason why the deeper you go into a tooth, that's a class 2 box that's gone almost subgingival, we are talking about an increased possibility of bond failure because my margin is most definitely now on radicular dentin. So I have told you what the problem is. All right. Now, Always remember, you go ahead and complete your composite filling, not knowing that your bond has actually failed. Now, in this area, you will never get a void. Nature does not like voids. Immediately, this area will be filled with what you see in blue. That is nothing but your dentinal fluid. Remember, this dentinal fluid is a part of your hydrodynamic movement. What often patients complain after composite fillings is when they go back home and when they start eating and the antagonist tooth comes in contact, they start feeling pain or sensitivity that comes from that tooth. 
you've done a beautiful composite filling you are wondering why is this patient complaining of pain or sensitivity you don't know so you typically tell this patient give it two or three days and your sensitivity or pain will go away and that is true it does go away ever wondered why does it go away look closely guys as there is masticatory load this bond that is currently failed only at the pulpal floor actually releases itself as you can see the blue now has gone through the side and escaped outside which means the fluid has now oozed out this means the patient's pain goes completely out patient is symptom free because the pressure that was built inside has now been released into the oral atmosphere but remember as pain goes out bacteria also goes in it's not a single way street it's a two way street it's a give and take which is the reason why we often start getting failures like marginal staining marginal leakage secondary caries sensitivity that is delayed you get micro cracks and fractures and eventual failures now that i've told you what the problem is let me also give you the solution to the problem which gets me to the topic for this tipsy tuesday a beautiful concept that is called decoupling with time as quoted by dr david alleman and his team he says if you want your composites to survive go slow wait what am i talking about apply your bonding agent light cure that bonding agent and then wait before you cure the next increment of composite how much time do you have to wait if you wait 1 minute if you wait 1 minute after curing the bond and then you cure the next increment of composite 70% of the stresses have been reduced which means the bond is 70% more mature and the possibility of debonding has significantly decreased if you wait 2 more minutes the bond will mature an additional 10 minutes 10% if you wait an additional 2 minutes it will mature a further 10% so the simple thought your friends is the deeper you go into the tooth for your class 2 the more you should wait after curing the bonding agent before you cure the next layer of composite it's called slow dentistry do it once but do it in a manner that you don't have to repeat again which is the reason why it should always be done under rubber dam isolation this could be a simple class 2 composite filling this could be a deep margin elevation do it slowly remember the bond to your dentin takes 120 hours 5 days to mature completely i'm not saying wait 5 days before you do your composite filling wait 5 minutes if you are in radicular dentin wait 3 minutes if you are in say cervical dentin wait 1 minute at least if you are still in middle dentin just go slow with this this will make sure that your fillings survive for as long as hopefully your patient friends if you wish to learn more from me go and check out mikeducation.com and so many of you have sent love for tipsy tuesdays which is the reason why on this episode i announce a new promo code it's called i love tst go ahead and use this code for an additional 10% discount on your subscription friends with that i come to the close of this particular episode episode of tipsy tuesday once again go ahead and double tap and like this comment on it share it with your friends as we together attempt to make dentistry more predictable and more successful one tuesday at a time